Hello all, welcome to Oracle Apex Training. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we manage static application files. So Oracle provide a provision in the application where we can manage our static application files. So first of all, what is the static application file? So static application files are nothing but a set of files where we may need, where we may refer in our application when we, you know, like uh, if you want to show some sample data or if you want to refer some icons or if you want to refer some images to be shown in the page, and these are the some static application files which we generally refer. It can be logos, it can be sample data files, or it can be icons and etc. So where do we store them? Once you navigate to an application, you click on shared components, and there it shows a provision for you to upload it. And you can edit it, you can delete it, and you can upload it. Okay. So now the navigation is application, shared components, as well as static application files. So in this sample, you can observe that like uh, there are five files and out of which like uh, by default Oracle provided some set of files and even I loaded extra. So these are the five files which all, already Oracle provided. And if you observe the reference here, it shows hash app, app underscore files. Then it shows a directory like a uh, hash icons and then the image name. So we'll understand like when we work on a sample, so how do we upload? You simply click on create file, mention the directory. It is not mandatory and you just mention the content and you can also leave the character set by default, it will recognize. And if you mention the directory, so here if you observe in the above, after app underscore files, it mentions a specific directory name, if at all, if you mention the directory name. Nothing but if you mention icons here and that's how we have to refer it. If you don't mention anything, it does not need to mention the directory name and then click on create. Once you, once you select the file and then click on create and that will be shown in the this particular uh, static application files extract. Okay. Now what we do is we'll see how I referred them, right? So uh, let me show you the example first. Okay. So now I'll just navigate to the instance. So in this one, we'll navigate to shared components and static application files. And here, if you observe, there are a couple of files which I have uploaded. And the first one here, you can see here, like a Lotus flower drawing. I just down uploaded without mentioning any directory location. So that's the reason the reference information is app underscore files, then followed by the file name. And similarly, you can see like uh, for him and for the tree, I mentioned wantedly, I mentioned a directory location like uh, images, and that's the reason it shows tree.jpg. Now, what we'll now show is like, how do we refer? Let us say I want to refer these two images in my sample. So this is how I have shown here in the sample, like uh, the first three are a hyperlink and the second one i just embedded the image here now if i just click on this particular image so it's like a hyperlink it gets opened in a new page right and similarly you can try the other one okay so it's not there that's the reason it gives an error and let me try the other one let's say three this is how it is there so sun as of now i have not uploaded that's the reason it's not showing and for the this one the the one which is getting embedded it's a different like a we are referring to the same app file, but we I have embedded here. So we'll see the region content here, then we'll understand. So before proceeding for the understanding of the page, let us upload one file now. So I'll just click on create file. And here, as of now, this particular picture sun is not there. So I'll select this location and yeah, let it refer. Once you click on create page, it will open another page where we can upload our image. So now you can drag and drop or you can select it. Click on this. Yeah, I'll select sun. And here you can mention any location or you can ignore it. So let's say I'll say new images. I wantedly mentioned the location as new images. And if you observe that here, it is not mandatory, but it's okay. I'll just click on create. Now what I want to do is I want to mention this particular image as a hyperlink as well as embedding also. We'll do both. So copy the reference here as of now. I'll copy the reference and I'll just mention the notepad like this. Okay, now click on save changes and you can also cancel, you can delete it, many things it provides option for us. Now go to the page. So you can click on app builder. And here this is sample page which I mentioned which we are seeing here. So in this page, let us say I would want to add up the new content here, okay, new image. 
So I'll click on sample page. So we already have two regions. I'll create two more regions now. Let's say in this one, right click here, click on create region and I'll say sun static image region. Okay. So now here, if you observe the type is static content and it shows an HTML code and what was the image information? So this is our image, right? So simply and uh, what is the code you can refer? So for showing the image, right? You can just refer like this a logic. A href. A href. Hyper reference, nothing but and mention the image name um, image location and then mention the name. I'll just say sun.png. That's it. You can just copy this. OK, now you can just save this. And run it. You can mention any of the HTML content there, right? So we could see the sun image now. Right now we could see this. And let's say we want to embed the image. Then what we can do? I'll just create one more region, new create region. And uh, let's say sun static embed region. And here we just need to set a different property. I have mentioned in this screenshot also. Static image, static content, and only like there is one set of code we have to mo modify, right? So here, template you have to modify, and here you have to mention image, and then what is the reference we have to consider? When we upload, it was showing this reference, right? Simply mention the reference location, mention the reference location, so it it will understand that it is available in a static application file location. It knows which directory and which image it has to refer. And now we can just run it and we can see the image in our page. That's it. So this is how we can refer static application file in Oracle Apex. Thank you.